going on guys, Move Racing here back with a brand new video and today we've got our channel update for June 2014. We do like to do these channel updates on the first day of every month. We try to do that, I don't think we've got one done actually last month. But only we're back with them with another monthly channel update. And in this episode then we'll just be going through um, all the content you'll be hoping to see on this channel in the coming month. And I think it's going to be quite a big month for the channel, especially at the uh, last few days of the month. And also definitely July is going to be a major month. This is the reason because Grid Autosport and most of GP14 are coming out on June the 27th. And that's, I know, I pre-ordered both of them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll be coming on release day. And I can get some uh, plenty of walkthroughs and uh, multiplayer gameplay from both of those up on the channel as soon as I can. Um, hopefully, of course, if the games do come on release date, I can get them straight to you on that Friday the 27th of June. And then you'll be uh, enjoying them. And hopefully that'll bring in a lot of new people. A lot of MotoGP fans and also, you know, fans of Grid Autosport. Um, new people, you know, who haven't seen my channel, then they can find it and they can subscribe and they can join. Um, join us all and they can all enjoy this content and hopefully we can grow together as smooth racing because, uh, you know, we got to uh, 130 subscribers, I think, just checking now. Yeah, we're on 130 subscribers and I do have a target of getting to 150, hopefully by the end of this month or if not July. And also we're so nearly at 40k video views, which is absolutely fantastic. We're on 38.5k video views and we just need 1,500 more. So hopefully we can achieve that. Definitely, I think we can definitely do that in the next month. In terms of videos, we've got the Seneca career mode carrying on. I didn't quite get the response I wanted from the second episode. So we'll just see how that goes, but I'll probably really try and carry that on. And we got a few couple of new series coming, Maldonado Moments. That's going to be really tough to make, but I'll really try hard to bring that out before the two new games come out. Of course, there'll be walkthroughs of both Motor GP14 and Grid Autosport. We have got something different planned for Grid Autosport. The uh, Driver Series basically is the career mode of Grid Autosport, so we'll definitely be uh, doing that probably sometime in July. And there'll be pre race previews and race reviews as normal. They will resume, but I'll try not to dominate the week or dominate my videos with just previews. If we do do a preview and we have some other um, gameplay or some other videos put up, we might upload twice in a day. Just so you're not just getting previews to your sub boxes every day, because I know a lot of people do them. Although you know they're probably my favourite videos to make because they're so easy to make and they're really fun just talking about it. Um, I don't think you guys really at the top of your list want to see that compared to my other series. Um, F1 Live Season, definitely going to be continuing doing the updates and of course highlights from that. Also LRL, Legend Racing League Season 2, really enjoyed the first race from Australia, you can see that up on my channel. Got 6 likes for that so I was really happy with the response, that will definitely be carrying on. Um, we're doing Grid Autosport news until it comes out. I don't think there's really enough news to do it this week, so we'll probably be combining all the news we had last week, because I think there were literally two pieces of news to report on, and it was fairly quick just for this. It's going to be on Steam, and then there was a new team, so it would only be like a two-minute video. So I think what I'll do is I'll combine it with all the week's news that we'll be getting this week. And also, once I do finish, or once I actually get Grid Autosport, the, uh, it will take to take its place of the weekly updates. It will be an F1 2014 weekly updates and then hopefully we'll be getting some screenshots and we can also talk about a few things and get a good discussion going every weekend hopefully but uh we'll just have to see how that pans out anyway but uh this is pretty much it then for the video just a uh, last thing I'd just like to give a shout out to dan mac 4596 i think it's i think that's a number combination but anyway i'll put his channel link in the description because he's so he's so close to 200 he does f1 FIFA and GTA he does more games, loads of great games and uh, loads of great content from him. So be sure to go and subscribe to him as he also runs LRL, a very good league that uh, is still looking for people, I think. Um, likewise with live season, live season I think is going really well at the moment. We're kind of in this transitional period, so we're having a lot of drivers joining, but also a lot of drivers leaving. So we're really trying to, you know, trying to stabilise on a great group of drivers to keep. And then we can, you know, move forward with the league. And I'm sure, you know, probably from season two, certainly next year, we'll have a stable bunch who will all be willing to stay. Because a lot of, uh, we have been let down by quite a lot of drivers. And a lot of the drivers are just part-time drivers because they cannot commit for the full time. But that's okay for now because the main thing is just getting the most clean driving. And we certainly do get a good attendance. So uh, put down in the comments if you do want to join F1 Live Season Xbox. But anyway, that's pretty much it then for the video. I um, hope you have a wonderful day. I'm Smooth Racing, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.